Good morning. Happy vlog from Dodger. Hello. Okay, gonna be starting off this vlog pretty chill. Oh, of course, now that I'm doing this, Dodger's like all over here. Like, um, what's going on? Hi. Um, but it is Friday, March 11th or 12th. I'm not really even sure. 12th. Stop. Stop it. But I am Rosie and I am a boudoir wedding photographer and I am doing a <laughs> mini session weekend, which is going to be 15 sessions and it's going to be a big one. Um, so I thought I would just really take you guys through like a vlog kind of going through what I do on a mini session weekend. I think I did this back in November, but um, hopefully this will be interesting to you guys. It's a new Airbnb. So pretty much what I do for these is um, I launch like a whole pre-sale program and okay, this dog, stop. No, are you serious? Okay, Dodger, come on. Okay, this dog has decided that it is time for him to lay on me. So, Here's me and Dodger. Um, so a mini session weekend is just 30 minute boudoir sessions back to back with 15 minutes in between each one. Um, they're super fast paced. I've probably done these maybe six times. Um, they're really successful on my boudoir page. Um, not honestly just trying to toot my own horn, but they are very successful and I think I'm very good at marketing them. So I am doing these ones at a new Airbnb in Boise. Um, I'm probably gonna leave around 2.30. A call with my accountant at 2:45, so just hop on a call with him in the car, and yeah, I just have to get ready. Um, all my camera gear is ready, all the drinks and stuff are ready. I'm actually gonna read for like the next 30 minutes and just chill, try to get my head on straight, feeling good, um, and then I will kind of, I guess, go into some details. What I am packing right now is these are two box lights that I can plug in and have like additional light sources if it is not as bright in certain spots. And then also I have my camera bag, which has um, extra camera batteries, masks, an extra camera body, my camera that I will be using, as well as another lens. And then this is full of memory cards that are blank. So I'm set for the weekend, as well as my speaker that I will be playing music on. So yeah, and then I'm actually gonna bring my laptop and I'll put it in this pouch right there so I can have it um, to refer to people's um, questionnaires that they filled out. As I'm packing up, I'll just kind of explain to you guys what I do. So I send out these questionnaires to every person that is doing the mini sessions and they can be answered obviously by the person that's doing them and they help me personalize the sessions. So like for instance, um, four of these gals that are doing these sessions today are doing maternity sessions, which is super exciting, but like they specified obviously that they're not going to be needing any champagne, um, kind of what types of poses they want to do. I also like, um, get to know if like they're using any, um, vendors in the area for like hair or makeup or tan. So I can also credit people also gives me insight. If like, I always like to know if like people have any intense insecurities because I like to be aware of that going into it. Um, we won't be like, obviously like, um, shielding ourselves from like anything that we're insecure about, but I do like to know just because like I want to make sure everyone's comfortable and feeling their best and if that means like just being aware of that stuff I think it's really smart and something I definitely recommend to people to do. I'm going to switch. I want to put this lens on. I'm going to start with my 35 millimeter lens on my camera because it is my favorite lens and it should be ready to go. Yeah so I am super excited. I only have two sessions on today which is Friday. 11 tomorrow, which may have been a mistake. That's a lot of sessions. It's not a mistake, but um, that is a lot <laughs> of sessions. So um, say a prayer. I'll make it through. I think I've done 11 sessions in a day before um, or something very close to it, but um, it should be good. And then, yeah, I'm going to go pack up my car. I will show you guys everything that I'm bringing because I also have some champagne and fun stuff like that. Very 
casual outfit. Um, just biker shorts and this oversized shirt because honestly I get really hot at these because I'm moving around like up and down showing poses. So I need something that's like flexible and easy to move in. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs and probably put just like a little makeup on, probably just eyebrows and mascara is what I'm gonna wear all weekend because I'm gonna be wearing a mask as well. I probably won't pack any snacks today. I might uh, eat a go macro bar on the way, but I actually prepped myself food for this weekend, which is very unlike me, but I deleted all of the food delivery apps off my phone because that's self-care um, because I was ordering too much at a certain time and it was just a waste of money. Um, so I am gonna actually make some pasta tonight for myself. She needed to actually boil the pasta and then I made all the vegetables so I can have pasta and veggies tomorrow for lunch. And if you know, you can go like this right now <laughs> with how our counters are. The next vlog, you guys, you're seeing this on Tuesday. The vlog that'll go up Friday just might have our new home project finished. So be excited. I might actually head out now. It's a little early, but then I can get there a little earlier and show you guys around, plus show, off, show it off to my Instagram. And I have a call with my accountant in less than 30 minutes and I'd rather be like close to downtown when I hop on a call with him, hoping it runs smoothly. Taxes are a lot and we've been waiting on one piece of paperwork that I don't even know if it's gonna arrive. It's not the end of the world, but I'm just a little frustrated with the service that I'm getting. Not from my accountant, from the place that we're trying to get. Uh, it's just a, it's just a lot. Okay, let's get this baby going. Um, I also got this pop and bottle oat milk vanilla latte with collagen in it. Don't know anything about it, I need to shake it. Sometimes I never know. Shake before opening. You got it. I just wanted another coffee. I used to drink on these weekends. Like I would have like champagne with the girls. But I actually don't do that anymore. I should check my mail really quickly. Okay. We got nothing. I was trying to wait for that one piece of paper. That might never be here. Um, okay, so I used to drink with the gals, like have like a glass of champagne every uh, so often with like the shoot. Love that. Um, but honestly, it just would really wear me out having, cause like if you think about it, they're all coming for like literally one shoot and I'm there all day having champagne. It's just like a lot of alcohol. So I actually haven't drank it like the last couple of these, which has been good because I just, I don't need to do that. So I got myself some like fun drinks though, like energy drinks, water, obviously. But um, I'm gonna get myself down there for my first shoots, not till four and I can get in there at three. Have my call at 2.45. I also like, I love doing minis. Um, I guess I could have done, the, I can do these like once a month if I really wanted to. They're good sources of income. Um, but I only do them once, apparently about two to three times a year because it's a lot of work. And if I did minis all the time, no one would ever pay for a full session, you know? So yeah, um, if you guys have any questions about boudoir stuff, let me know. Um, I will show you guys the Airbnb once I get there. Okay, wow, I just got to the Airbnb. It is beautiful. I can show you guys the kitchen area. I'll probably set up a light in here and turn this light off. Ooh, that's so dark in there. I don't know yet. Um, but probably won't do too many in the kitchen because of the lighting. But honestly, the living area makes this space so worth it. Like it's, this place is actually really big. I feel like it looked big online, but it is like actually quite spacious. This room, not the best lighting in here because I actually don't think it ever gets real sunlight. But again, <laughs> this bedroom is literally everything. It's so cool. Like the decor and everything in here is so well done. So I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be awesome. And they have this outdoor seating area too. So I think it's gonna be great. I'm very excited. Gotta set up some lights now.
my gosh, Dodge, you look cute. Okay, I'm home from my sessions. I edited previews and sorted the first two sessions and Ryan made us ribs. Those look so good. You have like perfected your rib skills. Yeah, compared to the very first time we made them, yeah. They, were, they weren't good the first they time. They were dry and <laughs> just shitty. They fell off the bone because they were like dry off the bone. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. But no, like these are... I mean, you can tell, wow. like those look insane. Wow, okay, and then we just got like a little salad, and I need to go get us some LaCroix. Come on, I just go, wanna go get a beer? Let's get a beer. And Dodger just does one loop around the car. Go. <laughs> He's like, uh, are we going somewhere? Some LaCroix. Let's go eat. Um, I will probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is bright and early. Sun is coming up. Um, it is 7.30 and this is day two of minis. So I have 11 sessions today. I don't know if I've ever done that many before and that may have been more than like my brain can handle. I know I can do it. I'm just saying more so like, oh God, that is so bright. I'm saying more so like I might be a little like brain dead after this day which is fine I already took like warned Ryan I was like I might come home and like just need to like decompress maybe go on a walk or not talk too much because sometimes I feel like I'm like an introverted extrovert where I can really put it on um, for like my job and I like am good in social settings but gosh I like really need to like have my alone time to recharge but I'm excited just to kind of pack today full. So then tomorrow I only have two sessions and like that'll feel like nothing. That'll be so easy then. Um, but I hate this lighting right here. But pretty much <clears throat> I have to head down there. I'm heading down like an hour early because it's taking me 30 minutes to get there. And then I can have 30 minutes of just chill time before the first girl arrives for her 8.30 session. I actually made myself like prepped food. I don't normally do this, but um, I think I told you guys that I deleted all the phone um, food delivering apps off my phone. So um, I just made myself some bonza pasta, which is like the chickpea pasta. I really like it with Rayo's red sauce. Um, and then I am, and then I also roasted up some veggies. And so at my lunchtime, I'll just heat that up. I don't really, I just don't really want to spend money, right? And I haven't ate out in almost actually today's two weeks we haven't ate out and I'm just we're also just trying to do that on top of just like kind of cutting back on drinking so yeah it's been good and saved us a lot of money so I am um, also tomorrow's daylight saving so I had to let all the girls the two girls that are tomorrow like hey I just want to remind you that it's daylight savings tomorrow and if you're late for your session like I don't want to make sure that you're like informed so then you aren't late because I would just be really stressed okay I just had my lunch break um, I'm having a limoncello LaCroix and chilling. I just paid off some bills. Very fun stuff happening over here. The next girl should be here in about 10 minutes. So yeah, it's my last pregnancy shoot of the day. And yeah, there's someone's Pinterest board, <laughs> naked ladies. Um, but yeah, it's been good so far. I have five more, I'm kind of tired already, but I'll be fine. It'll be great. Honestly, like the last half of the day goes by really quick, so. Wow, okay, I'm seriously so hot. I had to get out of there so fast. The last girl was running behind. It was daylight saving, so I kind of assumed at least someone would run a little bit behind because of that. Um, but it was no big deal. She was the last girl, so we could finish her up no problem. Um, I actually, unfortunately, have to run up to Bogus Basin right now. I'm on Bogus Basin Road, so I'm probably... 30 minutes from the top um, but I have a shoot there this week and I don't know what it looks like because I haven't been up there since the fall so I'm gonna run up there um, minis went really great this weekend Ryan last night I came home and he I was so brain dead I've never done 11 in a day and 11 was a lot um, I don't know if I'll ever do 11 again um, the thing is like now that it's all over it's like I made it through and I did it. It's not like the end of the world. So I'm always, whenever, that's why like once I deliver these, I'll be excited to do them again in April. But 
it really wore me out like last night I got home at like 6 15 and Ryan and I took the dog on a walk and my friends had invited us out to go get drinks but by the time I had actually kind of come down from like the social excitement of the day I was so exhausted like I didn't really speak much last night I just really needed to like chill out and Ryan knows that about me so he made me dinner made like seriously like the best Caesar salad dressing like he made a homemade Caesar it was so tasty and then um, we were up in bed by like 9 o'clock I was so tired I was like I really need to um, go to bed and relax a little bit so we did that and it was really much needed the time change happened and we actually got over eight hours of sleep which was great I really like when I say I needed it like I cannot stress enough how much I needed um, some rest but I'm gonna go up to bogus I never ended the vlog but I am just gonna come on and we're literally editing it right now but um, thank you guys so much for watching pretty much after I got home from bogus Ryan made did he make his breakfast? I can't even really remember what we did. This is so crazy. But I did work a little bit and we did some grocery shopping. And yeah, it just was a really long weekend. But yeah, thank you for watching. I feel like these ones are always like a little scatterbrained when I have to do like a work weekend because I'm kind of all over the place. But I guess it's pretty accurate to how I feel on those weekends. Um, I'm editing this Tuesday and you'll see it shortly. Um, the next vlog that goes up Friday is one that we're so excited about. So make sure to check that out on Friday. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.